How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing a drink review here today and gum chewing Deathmark 2 impressions. Um, I got I grabbed this from Stop and Shop when I got the popcorn for the other video. I did the popcorn eating and the, what I've been watching, but I, I'm pretty sure I didn't review this. Uh, strawberry Banana Prime Hydration Drink. I've never seen this one. I, 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 I know I did strawberry, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think I did strawberry banana. I, maybe I did. <laughs> I don't know, like I've done a bunch of these drink reviews and I do not keep track. I should probably write down in an opaid, like, what I've had. Shake it up a little bit. I think these have to get shaken up. Yes. Like that. That's a nice blend of both those flavors, and like all these prime ones, they're light, they're smooth. It's like a smooth drink. It's light though, and refreshing. Um, I like this one. Aren't they like run, aren't the coconuts like <clears throat> they're running they're running out of coconuts in the world like I don't know some shit I thought I read that like a couple of years ago. This is a solid drink, honestly. I'm gonna go an eight on it. I like this. It's a nice blend of those two. I'm a fan of banana and strawberry. And it blends it well. Um, like I said, these, these are always refreshing drinks. And they're smooth. It's, I don't know, what's causing that to give it that vibe or that feel. <clears throat> Definitely going to eat on this. Strawberry banana prime. I think I've liked most of the primes well enough. There was another one in there. It was like frozen cherry or something. That's another one I didn't recognize. Um, I think I'll have to look and see if I end up doing this one too. But look and see and then do that one as well. But yes, here we go with some impressions on <clears throat> gum chewing impressions. I just realized this is probably absolutely picking up the gutter, the water coming off the gutter. You can hear it. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the video too much. Um, or my talking and stuff is... Drowning it out. But yeah, uh, Death Mark 2 for the PS5. I've put about eight, a little over eight hours into this, and uh, I like it. I, am, I do want to do a gameplay of it before leaving, so probably in the coming days I have a couple different save spots. This is the third volume of the Spear and Hunter series. The first death mark is the first, and then uh, NG is the second. 
They're all in the same universe. This is obviously a direct uh, sequel to Death Mark. So you're using this guy again. It's a Yashiki. I think this is actual. You can change his name if you want. I didn't. And pretty much everybody from, well, I don't know if everybody is from the first game, is here. I've already met up with, they mentioned one, but I've already seen and been doing investigations with another, like, four. But it is different from that one. It's still a visual horror novel. Graphically, it looks nice. Like it's not like you know, you're not gonna like your draw's not gonna drop, but it, it's a nice enough looking game for what they're going for. The the bosses or the spirits that are causing the problems look really nice and, and gruesome. The departed looks disturbing. That thing pops up a few times, um, and that spoilers eats the other spirits. So your characters in your group can die if you don't do things properly or cleanse the soul the uh, one spirit and then the part it's eating that spirit but if, if, if the, the spirit doesn't taste good meaning you don't save the soul completely it will kill one of your allies that's alive that has not happened yet um, like I said you're finding clues in places you're talking to other characters that work at the school uh, getting answers and stuff I did screw up one thing on the, on the first, it was the second chapter. I think I could have saved the one student who ended up dying. Uh, but I didn't do something. I guess I could have stopped them from leaving this room, and I didn't, and ended up dying later on. But none of my, like, actual allies and partners that I'm doing gameplay with have died yet. You go to the infirmary in the school, and that's where you can save, talk to people, you can trade with uh, the one girl. You find teeth. There's that's like the thing you find in this game, teeth, nice bloody teeth, um, and you can use the 
goes <clears throat> to buy get like stuff to help during your encounters that's the thing in this game you have these suspensive act <laughs> and you get you can use yourself your other character you can team up and you got to figure out the things it gives you percentages you got to do the right thing it's usually based on reading notes and stuff finding out what you need to do and you have like hit points whatever they call them something they don't call them hit points they call them something else and they'll go down by each action if they go down all the way you're done um, that happened you know and then some of these little things you can trade the teeth for will give you a higher percentage to do certain actions or they'll it will take less of your hit points to do certain things because when you do an action it costs his points when the enemy hits you it will cause hit points to go off and as you collect more teeth you gain level like gain more hit points for your party so some rpg elements in this one um this is one of the newer characters who goes to the school that's the main dude. There's the four of the, your group that I've come across so far, and one of the other one other person. Um, you can kind of see. You really can't though. That the part is there. Um, I haven't. I'm enjoying it. They also have this thing. You can turn it off. I didn't. It's the jump scare thing, where randomly, like a picture of either the part or someone else. Will in your face real quick it did get me the first two times and you kind of get used to it but they actually do a good job of there was a couple in quick succession and then there was been none for a little bit and then they'll hit you with one that's a land thing you can turn off if you want a lot of the same music from the first one and you when you you know you also when you're fighting the bosses and you gotta choose certain things gotta use certain items as well and stuff like that. I said the bosses look really nice and disturbed. Fucking really messed up looking. I posted a picture of one on Instagram. That was Kashima. Um, and the stories for the people that have died and became the spirits and stuff. And that are depressing, of course. Um, but it's a cool game. I'm enjoying it. I don't know how many chapters there are. I think there's only seven or eight or something like that. The funny thing is, like, this one in the first death mark, I really enjoy. Like, NG I like, but not nearly as much as this one and that one. I just like, I don't know. These ones are more, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the story and stuff. I don't know. Or they flow a little better. But I would definitely check it out if you're into a... Uh, Visual novel horror games, so other visual novel games that are not, they're like romance ones and stuff. But that's why I like these ones, or like the crime type ones. But it's, uh, it's cool. These two characters in the front there, the one on the back as well. Um, there's some noise. Um, her, I forget her name. These two are the. Newer characters you pop up, you chat with, uh, there's another kid too, I don't know if he's going to pop up more or not, another student, but yeah, it's fun, it's a nice game, um, I like that there's more gameplay, you're like running around with duty, playing, finding stuff, and stuff, it's a little more like, okay, I'm playing something, <sighs> very point click adventure type game a lot of text it's not an overwhelming amount of text but i do like to save often because i'm like if i end up biting it i don't want to have to do this text again because i've had to do that once or twice if you have the wrong character with you you can hit the one button and, and get out of the fight and then come back um because when you go to the infirmary or your hit points experience whatever they call them will come back um that's like the base You change characters, talk to them, you trade and with the, the teeth for stuff, items, helpful items. It's a really cool game, though. I check it out if you have a PS5. It's on the Switch as well. I don't know if it's on the Xbox. I want to say it is, but I don't know. It's probably downloadable, but I'm not sure. I know the Xbox has been getting a lot of that stuff lately. 
But yeah, that's just a uh, prime. Is there anything else I'm missing from this? Let me see. Oh, something you also get into the suspensive acts with human characters too when you're trying to get information or something and you don't want to screw that up either because then you're losing out on info i'm kind of hoping there's uh, some more kind of environments because it's pretty much been the school parts of the school and i did do the cemetery and the, and the hospital as well when you went out of the building with the bus stop and stuff cool game though i'm excited to keep going with this one but um some impressions of Death Mark 2 and a 8.0 on this uh, Prime Strawberry Banana. And uh, thanks for checking this out. And have a good